I'm a fifth generation farmer here at La Crosse. Here on this particular piece of ground, I'm the third generation. My dad moved here when he was five years old, and I'm following him. I've been interested in alternative fuels in the last few years, and I've been toying with biodiesel. And at this particular point, I am, I am embarking on a venture to be 100% sustainable by growing my own oilseed crop and making my own biodiesel. Camelina is a slow emerging and growing crop. For about the first 45 days, you kind of want to just remember that you planted it, but go fishing or go do something different because uh, it's there. The second 45 days, uh, it takes right off. It starts growing, it'll bolt, head out, and uh, in 90 days, total growing time, you should have yourself a harvestable crop. Typically, farmers will sit back and say, geez, I'm sure glad you're trying something new because uh, I want to watch. And when you learn all the ins and outs of it, then we'll go ahead and plant it. This is one of those areas where I think we really need to look at uh, more than just the bottom dollar. I mean, it has to pay, yes. But even if it broke even, you know, even if you didn't make a dollar off of it, you would be able to guarantee yourself your own fuel every year by handling my own product. I'm my own middleman, I'm my own end user, I'm my own producer. So I get to take all of the pluses that come from that crop belong, belong to me. I don't pay anybody else to do it. If we can, if we can make the structure work, Camelina is set to run.